Get you caught up on a story you'll only see here on Hour 18. Pet rescues across Chicago see their share of abuse and neglect, but one Bucktown business didn't know how bad it was until they took a look inside one precious dog. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross with that pup story and how Chicagoans showed they cared. We do not know much about this great Pyrenees' backstory. She came to one tale at a time this past weekend from Kentucky. We do know her name is Ruth and she's a lover. First thing we noticed about Ruth was that she loved everyone. She loves to cuddle. She wouldn't walk next to us. She was like head between your legs, like trying to be as close to you as possible. Well, almost uh, the perfect dog at this point. It is the first time John Buckowitz yeah, is fostering a dog, one with a temperament described as easy, breezy, Pyreneesy. Heather Owen, executive director, says when the dog arrived, she was only 57 pounds. She believes Ruth is two years old and should weigh about 75, adding the rescue's calm demeanor does not reflect her treatment up till now. I was pretty shocked when I met Ruth because I wasn't expecting a dog in um, a bad medical shape. Flea and tick bites. Half of her fur is shaved. Due to the matting. She was emaciated. Little did they know what was inside was just as bad. X-rays reveal small metal pellets scattered throughout the dog's okay midsection. They could be BBs from a BB gun. It could be bird shot. So, you know, we're, we think that she was shot by something. Those metal pellets remain inside Ruth. The rescue believes she can remain healthy if they stay that way. But it was the fallout from sharing her story of abuse and neglect online that is helping her and other dogs. The hope was to raise $5,000. The initial donation was a match of $2,500. Amount of generosity that people. We matched that like in the first 20 minutes. <laughs> wow, yeah. We have tripled that. It's, it's incredible. I think total with the match, we're at about $15,000 raised. One Tale at a Time Rescue says with that additional money, they'll be able to help several other dogs. Ruth, by the way, gets her name from Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who passed away days ago. In Bucktown, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News.